understand it. You know, voice your opinion. You don't have to vandalize stuff. All vandals have hit the Trump store in Vernon. The store manager says it's not the first time these criminals have tried to cause trouble. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Luke Hydash spoke with them today. He is live outside the store uh, right there on Route 83 with more on what happened. Luke. Mark and Irene, the flags that are up on the storefront right now are a temporary fix. They're covering up some spray paint that was put up there overnight as police look for who's responsible. Fascists spelt three different ways, other derogatory words and pictures. Vandals wanted to leave a message. I cleaned most of it with, uh, with a cleaner and scraper, and I covered it up with some flags until we figure it out. Store manager Ken Krajewski says security cameras caught the pair who did this. He says they're the same two who were inside the store Sunday, spraying an unknown stinky liquid on Connecticut for Trump hats, caught by employees. They noticed the uh, spray bottle, and they talked to the people and then they ran out of the store. Krajewski says it didn't take long for them to return. We were support everybody. Hey, you like Harrison Walls? By all means, voice your opinion. It just, I happen to voice mine by the truck. Ray Hanna drives this trumped out Jeep. It's how he expresses his political views. Do you think things have gotten more contentious, more heated in recent years? Now that the race is getting close, yes, it's, it's getting more and more difficult, you know, this kind of crap going on. Folks no longer respect markers of difference, and it's increasingly less common for folks to reasonably disagree and still be friends. Quinnipiac political science professor Wes Renfro says political violence is more common across the nation and on both sides. What politicians know is that by vilifying and demonizing the other side, they are able to appeal to emotion, and this can help turn their voters out. And at the store, they need a permanent fix to clean things up. When I posted on social media, I had all kinds of people from like Trumbull area, you know, all over the state get, trying to get a hold of me. Hey, I own a painting business. Let us, let us come take care of it free of charge. We'll get rid of it today. Desperate people do desperate things. Vernon police say they have more investigating to do. No word yet on any charges these two could be facing if they're caught. Live in Vernon, Luke Kardash, Channel 3, I would assume.